What's up everybody, if you that don't know me, my name is Chris, aka Mr. Grow It, and you watch a Max's channel. Spider Farmer sent me over their SF2000 LED grow light, and in this video I'm going to unbox the unit, I'll test the power output, and I'll also do a heat test on it. I'm not going to talk about all of the grow lights features in this video, but I will leave a link in the description section below so you can learn more about it. Spider Farmer also hooked me up with a discount code for my viewers, I'll leave that in the description section as well. Okay, first thing out the box is this cable. This cable is used for multi-light connection. You can connect up to 12 lights. Next thing out the box is the user manual. They've included two rope ratchet hangers and some wire hangers are also in this bag. The power cord is connected to the fixture and here is the fixture. For the part test, I'm going to use the Apogee MQ620 Extended Range Part Meter. This meter measures from 340 nanometers to 1040 nanometers, and the measurements are in PPFD. If this is your first time watching my part test videos, I do them just to give you a general idea of what the PAR output is. They're not meant to be 100% accurate. I take measurements in grow tents, which have reflective walls that could increase the numbers, so just keep that in mind. The flowering coverage area for this grow light is 2 feet by 4 feet, and I'm taking measurements in a two foot by four foot grow tent. This light does have a dimmer on it. For the part test, I'll set it to 100%. I've plugged the LED grow light into my kilowatt meter and it shows 1.72 amps pulling 203 watts. All right, let's get into the measurements.
What do you think of these measurements? Let me know down in the comment section below. Just a reminder that there is a link to this grow light in the description section below, and I'll leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, peace.